Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how to sync a Google Calendar with Windows 11. So, let's go ahead and launch the Calendar in the Windows. Uh, you can see that by default for the first time when you are opening it. The first time when you are opening it, you can see that there is nothing at all. So, since we are trying to sync the Google Calendar, with the Windows 11, you'll have to click Add Account, and from here you have to insert your credentials, which is really simple and it is not really hard as you think. Okay, from here you have to choose Google, and now insert your email address, follow it up by your password. next now if you have enabled the two-step verification on your cell phone then you have to also uh, allow it from your device too okay i have done it now uh, here is the place where the lender or basically windows is asking permission to uh, access to the gmail the context and finally to the Google Calendar. You can basically, uh, without it, you cannot use the Google Calendar at all. So basically, you have to allow them. And now choose choose allow, and wait a moment. And now it's saying that send message using the which name. You'll have to simply type uh, your name. For now, I'm going to type Alia Plus and click sign in. And now choose done. You can also get the app on your whatever. Uh, it is, I think, the calendar within the Android devices. You can get it uh, if you want. If you don't want, just click done. So for now, you can see that basically this is how you can sync the Google Calendar uh, into the Windows 11. Now, uh, there is a small bit of problem. Of, uh, let me, I have to share it with you. Okay. The problem is that if you have not basically logged in for the first time uh, when you are opening the Google Calendar, sorry, the calendar in the Windows 11, you will see like this. Now, if you want to add another account or if the synchronization has been cancelled for whatever reason, you can just simply come uh, and then click on the settings, click manage accounts. From here, you can either uh, add an account and then from add an account or edit the current account that you have logged in already okay if you want to edit the current account uh, you can just simply click on it and from here you can just simply uh, only have two options of deleting account from your device or uh, you can change the mailbox settings if you remember during the study uh, setting up of the calendar you saw three options of the gmail there is the context and finally the google calendar you can uh, if you don't want the other two options like email and then the context, you can just simply turn them off from here. And now click done and everything has been click save. And now it is done. And there is also the other options uh, which is basically uh, then use basically on the country that you are living on. Uh, based on the country, on that country, it is going to synchronize their holidays, their important days, and then you can see that I'm living in Pakistan, and here is saying that 24 is the Christmas Eve, and then the 25th uh, is the uh, Christmas Day and the Qaidazam Day. So basically, uh, these are uh, some important days that they have mentioned here. Now, if you don't want them to show, just you can turn them off from here. So basically, this is uh, how you can sync the Google Calendar with the Windows 11. So have a nice day, goodbye, and I'll meet you guys in the next video.